Okay, hello, and welcome back to Attila Total War. So, the last time we played, I think we were just working ourselves out of a... some sort of food crisis thing. We hunger oh my god, battle. my computer is extremely so slow. Are my apologies, this is the wrong? first game I've played today. So, uh, the computer might be a what little, you know slow on getting everything up to par and uh, running correctly so just bear in mind with that so uh, I think we were at the end of our turn I think we were creating armies to get ready to march against our uh, enemies who are non non Christians across Africa but everything's looking all right though meanwhile um, we have two armies based here Commander. to deal with the Sassanids if they attack. Both armies are actually pretty small. Commander. I'll probably uh, reinforce them. And uh, yeah, so we'll just end our turn. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Uh, we, when this is recorded, when was more, more rather, when this was recorded, we had just hit 400 subscribers, which is fucking crazy. You guys are insane. Um, I want to thank you guys, personally. Without you guys, I uh, probably would have a. Uh, it would be harder to do these every day. But since you guys like them, yeah, you guys like these videos, um, it's easier to do. It's a lot of fun. But yeah. So let's uh, let's let's do some work. Your here. armies would surely find honor and plunder in joining this war. How massive Glory the Western awaits. Empire is. Here are the two emperors. Flavius Honorus Augustus and Flavius Arcadius Augustus. I'm 19. He's actually a year younger than me. He's like my younger brother. What just happened there? Did the Eastern or did the Western Romans seriously just lose that fight? I mean, I was barely paying attention, but still. Decia Illyria. Food shortage in Cappadocia. Where is... Isn't Cappadocia over here somewhere? Cappadocia. Build another field. Lead mine, squalor, and public order go down. To the reservoir. We'll also upgrade our things to wheat fields. So I think uh, we're going to not have a massive army here. There we go. We'll do that because the garrison's pretty large. In Edessa, I think we're going to build a chapel. And here we have a Taverine Road Development Plus 10 Scriptorium or an Auditorium. Hmm. Public order goes up by 7. What's my public order right now? 13. It's pretty high. But we have pretty poor, uh, what you call it here to be a moment. Let's do a cavalry corral here, I think. Ready for battle. There we go, let's do this. What does Rome require of me? We're getting one there. Because I want to keep my income relatively like strong so strengthening roads like two of these build. I'll have to build like a tabarine and a scripture these guys are Greek Christians going up Greco-Roman paganism's going down so Christianity is increasing in Greece which is good How can I 
I can actually disband this unit. There we go. So let's uh, let's look at our diplomacy here. Let's see who we can talk to. We're of course we're at good relations with the West. Looks like we can open up a trade route with the Garmatians, but they don't like me. Although they are trading. I am here, then. Speak. They're trading with the West, but they're not trading with the East. The Maratians don't like me at all. The Sassanids, treaties. We have a non-aggression pact with the Sassanid Empire. Greetings, friend. Let us use our time together in wisdom and seek accord. They rejected our marriage. Yeah, the Sassanids are the third strongest uh, guys in the game. I think the Huns are the fourth? They're the fifth right now, so they're not too terrifying. And, uh, we're actually at war with the Huns. You will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. Give tongue to your words, and I will answer. Hmm. None of these interest me. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat. Okay, whatever. We'll ignore them. And our emperor leveled up. Scholar. I'm sure our emperor is a uh, wise learner. There we go. Do I have a gold mine here? Gold veins. Small gold mine. Goldsmith. Public order. Minus five. Oh, man. We hunger for battle. I have a lead here, don't I? Yeah. I also have an auditorium here. Okay, good. A banking house. Ooh, or a governor's house. We could do a banking house. Trade income. Just keep the money I have at the moment and continue onward. I'm sure someone will declare war on me eventually. So I guess this was a, this is like a restart that I was gonna do and then never did it because it was saved over the old Let's Play and I remember being at war with the Sassanids in the old Let's Play. So I don't. Our struggle will end badly and with little honor for anyone. Mm. My sure. I'll allow the Visigoths to go away. So I think they made the Western Romans more powerful uh, in an older patch, because usually the Western Romans immediately lose uh, Britain. But now it looks like they're reinforcing Britain with two armies, which is kind of insane. It looks like the Emperor, the Western Emperor, and then another higher ranking, almost full stack army. Call to arms. Sure. So I'm at war with the Swibians and the Vandals. Look at that province is being burned down over there. Alright, so peace negotiated between the Visigoths and everybody. Pretty much. Beautiful. So in Constantinople, I can build more stuff. What's my sanitation? Negative one. If I build a bath. Look at that. Numeroi. 47,000. Could upgrade these to Colonial. Constantinople, I can't upgrade until Metropolis until I've got state construction program. How long would it take? Five turns. 
And what's my public order? My public order is 20. Squalor goes up by 3. Public order by 3. Sanitation by 5. It would put us at what? 2. Let's build a goldsmith. See that as an income for the Empire. For Rome. So once this army is ready, I'm going to travel to Agala, Agula, and then from Agula, we'll attempt to march across the desert and lay siege to Garmana. Damn this! Damn this game runs so smoothly now. Unlike Rome 2, which was what a laggy piece of shit. Me? But then again, I liked Barbarian Invasion more than Rome uh, 1. Duke. Sentinel? Let's do Sentinel and Duke. There we go for Egypt. So Egypt, are we making shitloads of food from Egypt? Yes, we are. Fertility rich. Food production. Spring. Growth and tax rate. Income. They're yielding 190 food from Egypt. If I lost Egypt, I lose I lose the empire basically if I lose Egypt. So I need to hold Egypt as long as possible. Cuz that is my food base, which means strengthening Palestine and Syria. We gotta do something. I don't know what that something is yet, though. Are they abandoning? 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 I guess they are. They're abandoning Britain. So much for Britain. Looks like they're going to attempt to hold on to Gaul, though. Or modern-day France, if you're not versed in the, uh, the old names. I think France is the only one that's, like, was Gaul and then was changed to Francia. Just because of the Kingdom of the Franks. Swibians have been destroyed. Those are the Germans. Matter of State, the Silk Trader, Lucius Sulpicius Stylo. Stulio. Gem trader. I could build a municipum. Colonial. Let's build Alia Capitolia into something interesting. Okay, so let's uh, see what this whole silk thing is about. The silk trader, a foreign trader, has arrived in with reams of silk. It is said that he knows a secret trade route which along or which many valuable commodities pass as wares of flooding the market, lowering prices and income. Uh, should I ignore him? Let's give him the wagon trans to see what happens. <laughs> Probably making a terrible mistake. I'll, I'll flood the market, kill the, uh, the economy when it comes to the silk, but we're alright. We only hold one silk. Thing, don't we? Yeah, we hold Ankara, which is the Silk Road. Alright. And we don't even have a silk maker, do we? We do. We have a Silk Road trade house. Road development, 20. Spend, spend money on road improvements and shit. How can I serve the people of Rome? How can I serve the people of Rome? I mean, the Emperor himself can go wherever. He's just gonna be based in the capital right now. Actually, you know, we're gonna what take the Emperor, and we're gonna move him to... to your duties, men. Maronicopolis. Your Maronicopolis. Command. We'll have them kind of guard the border. Command. The Emperor will be up here. And he'll be alright. And we'll end our turn.
So far, the west hasn't been Delta. A grave is below. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong word there. More like a deadly blow. The west is still more than capable of crushing these barbarians. Like, if the west mobilized... I don't, I don't even know who they're at war with. I think they're just at war with, like, the, um... The Britain, Britannic tribes. I think they're at the war with the Saxons and some Viking clans. But if they mobilized, they could smash these armies, take over Britain proper. Like, all of the isles. If they really wanted to. If they wanted to. Now, the AI is not too intelligent. So the AI won't mobilize and marshal its forces and then go and conquer all of Britain. I'm just not going to do that. Instead, they're going to get raided and looted by the Roman separatists and so on and so on so forth. Mercenary influx driven by tales of glory and riches. A large number of mercenaries have flocked to your lands. I get good at mercenary contracts. Good. 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 Compulsory levy. Governor's estate. Let's do regional traditions so I get some food. Food for the empire. These guys have gone down. Sewers. Maintenance costs. Let's build a hermitage or church. Religious osmosis plus one Greek Christianity. I don't know what that means. Just do, just do a church, I guess. Church will bring up the, uh, the influence, I suppose. Uh, okay, here we need that. And then we can't build a scriptorium. In the name of the Empire. Are these guys done? They are done. So let us force march to Aguela. Who is, we're slowly losing Christianity here. No, it's actually going up. But Greco-Roman paganism is also going up. Why? Uh, no real reason, I guess. It's just going up. Mm. I mean, I guess it's fine. Let's look at our statistics, imperial-wise. So let me see here. We have... Ba -ba -ba. So we, have, we are Greek Christian. We have 42% of our population is Greek Christian. Uh, followed by Greco-Roman or Greco-Roman paganism, which is 23%. It's um, it's actually moving just as fast as um, Greek Christianity, and then we have Machanesium. I don't know what that is. I don't know what religion that is. We also have a food surplus. So we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Well, these are the, also the regions we have governors for. So, I guess we'll end our turn. Uh, we have Eutropus, who's got an assigned skill. He's already a magnet. Let's do a legate. He's a legate, and he's also a sentinel. Yeah. He is the governor of Libya. I'm trying to think, what's the best way to see? Maybe march up here to Leptis Magna and down to Gramara, Gramana. Because then I also have to take, say, Damas. Because hmm. that's our, our goal, our objective right now, is to be at war with them. And I don't know how... No, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh no, the Allens have gone and burned the settlement, my buffer state, to the ground. Well, I guess we'll have to engage them in some sort of warfare. They're backed by the Goths, but the Goths, the Visigoths, I think these are the Ostrogoths. The Ostrog Ostrogoths are not at war with me. They are fleeing the Huns. We have long admired your powerful army. The Vandals. Can you not commit their efforts to attack? Sure. I mean... I'll declare war on the Vandals just because I have an army there. Like, if they make it ashore and start attacking my settlements, I have an army there and they can deal with them. Look at this. One, two, three, four. There are four Roman armies here. Look at the generals. Three-star. 
Actually, I don't think that's a Roman general. I think that's a priest. You have a massive Roman army and then two smaller ones. That one looks pretty big, too. Who? The Marians? Sure. Going to war with everyone at this point. We just gotta help the... We gotta help the West. So, what I'm thinking is we create... We use that army that's in Libya right now as an expeditionary army to help the West. And we kind of just send them everywhere we want to go. Cool. Block the promotion. Influence. How much influence will I have? 20. Ooh. Oh, that was Dacia. That's right. Dacia has collapsed. It got burned in the ground. So instead, let's go. Because I don't think I could... Yeah. Here I wouldn't. So let's go up. We'll go on the coast. Yeah, see, I was dying in the desert. We were getting some attrition. So we'll do a force march. We'll finish out around full Taurus. Alright, though. So, they have burned down. Ready for orders. I don't even think I could stop. How? I probably could stop them, actually. How can I serve the Just stopping them from entering the Empire. To battle, brave Romans! So, what do we got here? We have three, four horsemen, three dogs, and two archers, and uh, I have a very standard Roman army, so you know what, we're going to fight this battle. So we're fighting the Allens. This looks like all that's left of their army. It looks like they're down to heavy spearmen and dog units, and uh... Some horsemen, which I have quite a few spearmen. I can easily, uh, and they'll, knowing the game AI, they'll charge into my spearmen and we'll slaughter them. But it's time to, uh, show them the error of their ways after burning down my puppet state. That was, that was rude of them. That was not nice. I don't like it. So, start deployment. Alright, um, what kind of setup do I have here? Melee infantry These ready. are the, uh, the General's Palatina. Yeah! I mean, I think this is probably Romans fine. Ready. I have my light cab kind of in the back here. Let's see if they march on me. They might have to. And they're gonna wait. They're gonna hold their ground. They sneer at the emperor in the sight of God. Their contempt for Rome has no limits. So what? Soon we will have victory. Are they to serve the emperor? General! Obidiamus! Happy to serve the emperor! So we get a little skirmish here. Where's the general? Shouldn't we have seen him? Generals? Don't worry about generals. They don't worry about you. <laughs> don't worry about generals. They don't worry about you. It's true. Any man who moves behind will answer to me. So steady. This is not the me. The tenses are all. These are all barbarians trained to fight in Roman styles. And then the guys that aren't barbarians are these guys, the Legio. These guys are Roman. These guys are, these are the best Romans, true Romans, the Palatina Guard. So 
So they do have a unit of melee infantry. So that's their general right there, this guy. Plain looking dude. Sarmatian spear. By God, I want to see blood and guts on this field today. Sarmatian cataphracts. Germanic mounted cavalry. Scout equites. Like people that weren't Roman. I mean, they were Roman, but they weren't Roman, as like you know. Roman. But they would fight in the military. It's kind of weird. The the late Roman Empire, the medieval Roman Empire, like going into the Dark Age Roman Empire. The, the way their, their military system, it relied very heavily on, like, native soldiers that would fight in the style of the Romans. I guess, there, I don't know if there was a manpower shortage or they just, like, the, the way you would be trained as a legionary would be, uh, would be reserved for those, you know, soldiers that were better. From my understanding of them, now this could be wrong, it was, like, the auxiliary soldiers were usually like spearmen, they were like uh, viking dudes, or not vikings, but guys that had beards, they weren't kept, but they were like, you know, native warriors. And that some of these guys would be, a lot of them would just be in like, like, uh, like an auxiliary unit. And that the more Roman you were, the better uh, chances you had to get into the regular Roman legionaries like these guys. But by towards the end of like Roman rule and the end of the military system, by the end of all that, at that point, they were just kind of trying to fill the ranks. From my understanding, and they really didn't care what kind of soldiers that were put in to what. But it, that's kind of it's it's weird. Like our our military is all um, our military is all like. Professional, we have like a professional standing army basically. But just think that like we we would use like I don't even know how you would describe it today, people that aren't citizens that would fight in the army and then you would become a citizen. That kind of thing. Which I mean in in reality it's a good idea. I mean if you're willing to fight and die for you know the nation you're living in. And I mean you got you deserve to be a citizen type deal. But it's just weird, like, uh, you go from the Roman legions of old, which were, you know, right here they come. But yeah, you go from the Roman Legion of old, you know, the old legions, which were trained, you know, very steadfast soldiers, would, they would, you know, fighting a Roman army out in the field like this was suicidal in the old days uh, against the well-trained legions because the Roman army was very mechanical in the way that it worked. It was, uh, you know, the Roman army very, you know, wasn't very, a, wasn't a very fluid fighting body. Um, most of the time, if you came at the Romans, you know, in a field formation, you know, their strength relied in the, their training and their tactics, and, you know, they were... 
they were a buzzsaw, and they could just carve you up. Now that's that's the I'm talking that's that's I'm talking like Caesar, like the for Augustus Caesar and uh, and uh, Julius Caesar, and uh, a little bit earlier or a little bit later. But the like the early Roman units, from what I understand, I don't know if this kept up. I don't know enough about my Roman history, Roman army history. But back in the day, um, when they fought like the Greeks, or when they fought the um, not the Greeks, the the, the Macedonians, the, Ma the Macedonians, when they fought them, uh, the the legions were actually very flexible because then you could pin one of those spear walls and you could outflank it uh, with soldiers and none of that had to be issued by a general that was just issued by um, uh, by the Praetorian or not the Praetorian but by the uh, the head dude I can't remember his name uh, not your standard bear but like this dude the officer I mean, only one unit is shooting at me. And all their archers are right here. Half of them aren't shooting, so just fire into this. man alive. Look right through the center of his shield. You're lucky it didn't hit him in the hand, man. This guy. Dog got an arrow in the butt. Poor dog. Taken a single casualty spear wise. We've lost some archers. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and bring the post to our lines. We're gonna ride up in front of them here. And then we're gonna turn around and run away. We're doing like a false charge. with a cavalry battle, they're running away. We countercharged. There we go. And now we'll sweep around while they're engaged. Come on, damn you. Go around. We'll sweep around while they're engaged and hit them in the ass. Classic hammer and anvil. Bam. Classic hammer and anvil. And now they can't escape. They're stuck in the sandwich. We're being slaughtered. Alright, so we'll pull these guys back. Legion should reform to a thicker unit. I think I'm going to advance. I'm going to take my spearmen into advance against these guys. Let's take them out of spear formation and move forward a little bit. Legion's on the flanks. General on the rear. Archer's kind of in this formation. Take the cab, 
Kappa's gonna be on our right flank behind the Legion, the weakened Legion. Alright, here they come. Oh, they've run into our two units. We're alright, though. in the ranks. We'll send the cab in the back. We're good. We're all right. Oh, that was going to hurt. We'll slam into the back of them. Just annihilated them. Push through. of these guys, not Calvary. Here comes the Legion from the back. Oh, the real charge. We didn't peel him in the... Oh, that's terrible. It's all over. It's all over. Wow, my general boarded off that one unit cataphracts by themselves. Pro. Enemy units have been rallied. Save us. Gotta kill all the all the foes. We have gained the upper hand! Other general. Oh, it's a on. General! So we only took 400 losses. Um, they took 400 losses, so it's actually pretty even-wise. Um, battle. But, uh, yeah. We did well. Our army did very well. So, huzzah! Whoops. Sorry, I'm like playing with this, uh, there's a button my sister gave me, uh, it's from Loot Crate. Although, I've never gotten a Loot Crate. Uh, I probably should, because they have pretty cool shit. Sometimes. Sometimes it's like useless junk, but sometimes it's cool stuff. Oh, he headbutted him. Damn. Playing that game. Damn, son. Get headbutted. Right now, who is sacking? They're see trying to seize that city. Ready for battle. I would help if my army was larger. You will march till your feet bleed. That's actually the larger army is that one right there. 
Alright, so, I think, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for now. Let's just move this army. No, we can't. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here for now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We have uh, just reached, when this is recorded, we've reached 400 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, and I want to thank you guys so much. Once again, I've probably thanked you guys a bunch of times, but I'm gonna thank you again. But th again, thank you. It, it means a lot to me. It really does. I never thought I'd reach uh, 400 subscribers. So with that, uh, I suppose until next time, stay tuned.